Hello and welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna, the Arsenal podcast sponsored by the last man standing with loserpool.com. As ever, I'm your host, Harry Simiou, and on this edition, I'll be looking ahead to Arsenal's trip to the Mestalla this evening, a Europa League semi-final second leg tie between Arsenal and Valencia, a place in the Europa League final is up for grabs. Now, before I talk about that, I need to talk about what happened last night and what we witnessed last night. It's kind of therapy for me because the way I'm feeling this morning is absolutely horrendous. I've got a headache. I feel stressed. I feel drained. I couldn't get out of bed this morning. I really struggled. And in truth, I didn't want to get out of bed after what I saw last night. You know, particularly because Spurs were 3-0 down in the tie. The tie was done and dusted at half time. Tottenham were out. And it was happy days. You know, I, I'm not that bothered about Liverpool. You know, Liverpool, they played fantastically well against Barcelona. You beat Barcelona 4-0. You deserve to go through. Great. There you go. Have it. Enjoy. I don't care. But I do care about Tottenham making the Champions League final. I do care about the prospect of champ- of Tottenham sorry, winning the Champions League before we have. And that is a real possibility. Liverpool are not unbeatable. The final's not being played at Anfield. So... There is a chance and just them being in the final gives them a chance. No matter how big or small, there is a chance and I can't live with that right now. I'm struggling. I feel sick. We were told that when we moved to the Emirates Stadium, it was because we needed to compete financially with the big boys and that that move would put us on a level playing field with the likes of Real Madrid, with the likes of Bayern Munich, with the Barcelonas, the Manchester Uniteds of this world. We were sold a fucking lie. We were sold a lie because... When you look at it now, Tottenham have just moved into a new stadium. It's cost them a fortune. They haven't signed a player for God knows how long. Yet they've brought in a manager who's able to build a squad with very limited resource compared to his competitors. And they're in the fucking Champions League final. They're going to finish in the top four and they're in the Champions League final. Whilst we're scratching our bollocks, hoping that we can get through to the Europa League final, which let's face it, I don't care what anybody says. Right now, the way I feel today, the Europa League final just feels like a Champions League place playoff and nothing more. If we were to go and win the Europa League and lift the trophy on the Wednesday night, but then on the Saturday, Spurs go and win the Champions League, our achievement means nothing. It means fuck all. It would literally just be a Champions League place playoff. Yes, that's very important to this football club. We need to get in the Champions League. We need the financial boost that comes with it. We need the status that helps to attract players. But all that work can be undone just two, three days later if, and somehow if, they win the Champions League. Now, the positives to look at is Jurgen Klopp's lost a ton of finals. Surely now it's time for him to win one. Surely he's due one. Surely Jurgen Klopp is going to win the Champions fucking league. And if he does... I'll be thrilled for him. I don't particularly like Liverpool. But like I said, they beat Barcelona 4-0. They deserve to be in the final. They're in the final. And my God, if it stops Spurs winning it, I might even go and buy a Liverpool shirt. Who knows? That's how I'm feeling this morning. And, you know, Arsenal take on Valencia tonight. And it is a European semi-final. And I should be buzzing. And I probably will be all right by the time the game comes around. By the time I sit down to watch it, you know, a few minutes before kickoff, I'll probably be in the right frame of mind. But right now, as I've woken up on this Thursday morning, I feel sick. And I feel like it doesn't matter and I don't care. And that's wrong. That will pass. But what we saw last night was an absolute travesty and, and I feel disgusted. Now, of course, let's look ahead to the game a little bit. Um, you know, we did win the first leg 3-1. I think that that third goal, and I mentioned it in the review show was absolutely huge. It was vital. And that could well be the difference between Arsenal scraping through and not getting through, of course. I think had we gone to the Mustaya with a 2-1, we'd have been bitterly disappointed. They got the away goal and you would have felt that the upper hand was with Valencia. But I just think that one goal makes such a big difference. I feel like Valencia need to be a little bit more adventurous now, a little bit more gung-ho. And hopefully we can pick them off on the break. But then you don't know what team Unai Emery is going to pick. And I mean, I've gone on about it all season. I think the fact that he tinkers things so much has in some ways 
benefited us. In other ways, though, it's affected our continuity. I wrote an article on it for youaremyarsenal.com just yesterday. If you haven't checked that out already, um, do check it out. Cheeky plug for my own work, got to say. Um, but yeah, if you can't do it on your own channel, where can you do it? Um, so, I mean, I, I think that it's going to be a very difficult tie. I think the Mastai is going to be packed to the rafters. It's going to be a cracking atmosphere there. Done a video yesterday, which you can check out on this channel. Uh, briefly touching on our last two visits there. And, you know, not, not happy memories. And some of you might be too young to remember those games or remember them clearly anyway. But John Carew absolutely terrorized us there. The good news is they don't have a John Carew anymore. They're not the side that they were back in 2003. They don't have the likes of Pablo Aymar, um, Vicente, players like that. But neither are we. We're a shadow of the team that we were in 2003 as well. There's no Patrick Vieira. There's no Gilberto. There's no, uh, you know, Sol Campbell. There's no... Thierry Henry so it is kind of works both ways but I feel as though how can I put this I feel as though that Arsenal the feeling around Arsenal is going to be a little bit flat tonight and it shouldn't be I've spoken to mates that are out in Valencia and their first words were I hope that Spurs don't go through because if they do it will spoil the Valencia trip and I just hope that our fans that are in the ground can somehow put that to the back of the, their minds, as difficult as it may be, and just focus on the game and create an atmosphere there and get behind our boys. I'd imagine that in the Mustai they'll be up in the rafters somewhere and that they'll be watching ants run around the pitch because, let's face it, that's what happens when you go away to Spain. But, you know, I think it's very important that Unai Emery motivates the squad and, you know, if he didn't motivate the squad this evening, then, you know, they're always banging on, aren't they, about... Granit Xhaka, I want to play in the Champions League. Socrates, I want to play in the Champions League. Well, tonight is the night to stand up and be counted and make that happen. They can make that happen. Unai Emery has some influence as a manager. Every manager has an influence. But does he have total influence? No. It's down to the players to go out there, give it their all, and make it count. Take the moment. Seize the moment. And you know what? Yeah, if Spurs won the Champions League, it would overshadow what we're doing. But... Just imagine the pressure they'd be under going into that final, knowing that just a few days before we've won a European Cup. The pressure on them would be immense and they would never admit it, but their fans would be shaking because they live to be above us. That's the, They live to achieve more than us. They live to compare themselves to Arsenal. And so me personally, you know, I'm feeling a bit shit at the moment, but I hope that by the time the game comes around, and I'm sure that by the time the game comes around, I'll be feeling a lot better getting behind the team, supporting our boys. And I think it's very important that we get off to a solid, calm start in the Mustaya. If we give Valencia the upper hand from the beginning, we're in trouble. And I felt that we did that a little bit at the Emirates. I felt that we let them settle too easily. And they started pinging passes around and they eventually went 1-0 up. We can't afford to let them grow from the very start in this game because they're at home. They'll feed off the crowd's energy. And Valencia are a very good outfit um, in terms of ball play and, and keeping possession and strangling games. And Marcelino is a very uh, good manager. He's done very well there. They've got it in for Unai Emery as well. And they'll be looking to stick it to him. Particularly there, I mean, I can imagine he's going to get dog's abuse from the crowd. So my prediction for tonight is that Arsenal will scrape through. Scrape through, though. I don't think it's going to be an easy ride. But I think we can do it. And I think we'll be looking at flights to Baku in the morning because fingers crossed it's, it's going to happen and we're going to get through and, and you know we can go and win the Europa League and, and put increased pressure on Spurs in their final. Anyway, um, that's my rant over. Probably talking more in anger than from sense this morning, but it's understandable after what we witnessed last night. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys all enjoy the game. Let me know how you're feeling about the trip to the Mastaya tonight in the comments section below. Let me know how you're feeling about last night, whether you've gotten over it or not. Um, anyone needs any therapeutic talk, I'm here. Uh, just hit me up on social media, on Twitter, at Harry Simeon. You know where I am by now, although a part of me died last night. But anyway, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hit like, hit uh, share, whatever you need to do. And uh, we'll be back on Friday with two podcasts. Um, the first will be our fan phone-in which we're doing tonight after the um, Valencia game. 
and of course I'll be giving my review and my thoughts on that game as well. So two shows coming your way tomorrow. Stay tuned. <laughs>